So guys and welcome everyone back to another video. Now in today's video, what we're going to be doing is just those small kind of jobs that I thought, does it deserve a video, does it not? But I thought, you know what guys, you guys want to come along for the journey of me making this into like a really nice, a really nice example of a BMW 1 series. So yeah, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the wheels off. We're going to be detailing and giving the wheel arches a really good clean. I'll explain why a little bit later. We're also obviously going to be giving the actual wheels a good clean as well. Uh, and obviously I want to clean up the brake calipers and stuff like that and see and how they're looking after we did paint them or like a few months ago and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to paint the hubs black because at the minute they're silver and obviously i've got red calipers i've got black uh like uh wheel arches i've got black wheels so i just thought let's just paint the hubs because it will stop it from rusting in the future anyway and i'll just think it'll look a lot better another thing we're going to be doing is fitting those floating uh center caps i'll show you them in just one second but yeah they're like the self-leveling they're like the self-level lev lev leveling lev leveling le leveling it's like those uh, hubcaps that like self-level, like the original BMW ones that cost an absolute fortune for what they are. But I think they look cool, and it's just another little thing that I wanted to add to this car, just to make it a little bit, you know, just make it a little bit better. And then finally, the last thing we're going to be doing is fitting Pilot Sport 4s, like Michelin Pilot Sport 4s tires onto this car. Now, there's a real reason why I'm doing this. Um, you might be thinking, well, why are you doing it? You haven't, like, your tread's absolutely fine. But basically, what has happened is my rear left wheel, when I first got the car, had like a little dent in it so what we're going to be doing is uh we're going to be replacing that wheel i've got it in the boot already it's already been uh, sprayed by the body shop so that's ready to put on so i'll put that on with one new tire and then my front right tire as you can see uh yeah i've got a tire pressure warning light so essentially, I my front right hand tire is flat, and so basically the other day I thought, you know what, let me just check it. So we put it up on a jack and we spun it around and we found a nail on the tire. Now I'll put an image on screen now of what that looked like, but it looks pretty flush into the actual tire, so I reckon it's been there a while. So I thought, you know what, let's just take this opportunity to just swap all the tires out and get Pilot Sport 4 tires all around and get all the tracking done with obviously the new hubs, the new uh, spray wheels, the um, the new center caps with the clear wheel arches is gonna look proper nice. And the reason why I've had to stay in the car um, with the AC on is because it is absolutely boiling today. It is literally no cloud in the sky. Now once again, I obviously do apologize about the noise of obviously the cars, but obviously I live on the main road, so there's not a lot I can do about it. But this is all the stuff we got for the video. So these are the, uh, like the center caps. They're the floating center caps. They're original from BMW. Um, and if you open them up, I have obviously got one missing because I have already put that on the new wheel um, when I got it sprayed. But as you can see, they kind of float and they look quite cool. But as you guys know, I've not long replaced these, so I will keep these as spare. I've also got the caliper paint here. This is the exact same caliper paint from E-Tech. This is the paint I use for my red calipers and they still look absolutely fine when they're clean So that is why I'm using that paint and then also I bought a brand new wire brush just in case there's any rust And then finally I've got some copper grease just in case I need to reapply some on my wheel Then obviously I've got my car jack torque wrench um, and then like the breaker bar there And here I've got all my detailing brushes to do the wheel arches I've got my foam uh, lance there with uh, like some all-purpose uh, all purpose cleaner uh, wheel cleaner some bug and grime remover and some iron out because obviously we're doing the wheels and we've got a bucket with a uh with a brick guard which will be in there properly in a minute but yeah and finally we've got my new baby which is the k4 full control pressure washer uh basically mine the other day decided to um basically just stop working and it just kind of smelt like burning and then just stopped so i went out in Halfords, it was like 200 quid bought it and it's so much better than the other one so yeah as i said in this video what we're going to be doing is painting this this bit here so at the minute obviously you've got black wheels which are very filthy you've got red calipers and then in here you've got like the hub and we're going to be painting that black i might do the back uh, i might do the heat shield back there but i don't think it's really needed as you can't really see it anyway um but yeah we'll give these a good clean we'll give the wheel arches a good clean paint them put the new hubcaps on and then obviously we'll do the tires at the end now the reason why i obviously want to film the tires is because i'm currently using goodyear eagle f1 run flats i think um and obviously we'll be going to pilot sport fours brand new um brand new rubber and we're going from run flats to normal tires um, potentially, I don't know, I might have to get Pilot Sport 4 run flats, but hopefully not. But uh, yeah, I should give my review of that at the end when we get them fitted. So let's go ahead and get this car jacked up and we'll take the wheel off and give this a bit of a clean. So there we have it, that is the wheel off and as you can see, it isn't like too bad. I, I normally tend to keep it quite clean, but as you can tell in here it is. But yeah, we'll definitely give these uh, a bit of a clean, get them looking back to how they should be. 
and then we'll go ahead and start painting the hubs. One thing about painting the hubs is it doesn't matter if you go over a little bit because if it does get on the disc, as soon as you break it, it will then just come off anyway. So uh, it's not a big deal. So what I was thinking is let's start off with the snow foam lance and just obviously uh, get everything soaking in there and uh, try to lift off some of that loose grime and dirt. And then we'll obviously we'll go on to like all the uh, iron uh, fallout and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's foam it first of all, give it a bit of agitation and then uh, we'll get on to the heavier stuff. So the snow foam is done and as you can probably see, or you probably can't see in fact, that uh, yeah, there isn't actually that much dirt left on it, especially in the plastics, obviously that's a lot easier, but uh, we've still got to wait for that all that to dry. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we're gonna use some brake cleaner now just to clear off the calipers and the rounded brakes and stuff like that. Um, and I'll probably use it a little bit around, all the way around, but um, then we'll get on with the iron out after that. There we go guys, that is that wheel clean. The back and the front have been done. I just used some wheel cleaner and a few different brushes um, to fit like obviously the tires and stuff like that. But that is looking really good. But yeah, in here, as you can tell, I don't know how that's looking on camera, but it looks so much cleaner. Like literally it looks so much better in here. I might give this a little bit of hoover. Um, I'll, I'll see how it comes out, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, the hubs are definitely looking cleaner as well, re ready to put the paint on. So what I'm going to do now is probably just wait for the wheel arts to dry, wait for the wheel to dry. Once the wheel's dry, I'll put obviously the new hub cap on, and I'll show you that in just one second, but then we'll go on to kind of sand down the hubcaps. I don't really think they need much doing on them, um, but we're only going to be painting this bit anyway. I don't want to paint the front of it, purely because obviously then that's where the wheel will go on. I don't think I really need to. I'll go over it a little bit. Like just around like a cent say a centimeter down here, just so you don't see any of the uh, any of the silver. But I don't think it's really necessary because it's not on show. So I've just thought while it's drying, I might as well just spray some of this ceramic wax on it, just so um, it stays a little bit cleaner for longer. Uh, but I won't worry about too much. But yeah. So guys, there we have it. That is one wheel literally so clean. I probably never had these wheels as clean as they are. And, and guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have already wrapped these in the black that obviously the original ones were like. Um, so I bought some more wraps. I'll leave links in the description if I remember to the wraps I used to do this. But uh, yeah, let's put it on. There we have it. That is the final product. Obviously, we've got the wheels to clean and then this. Look how cool that is. So this is pretty much dry. So um, yeah, what I'll do is I'm gonna spray a little brake cleaner in there. And I think it's just gonna be an easy job of just painting it on, turning it, and then just painting some more. So guys, there we have it. That is the first coat. At the minute it doesn't look that great, obviously because it's the first coat. I can't wait to get out and start driving to get rid of this brake dust and I honestly think it's going to look so much better. What I will do in a minute is while this is drying and I'm on my second coat potentially, I'm going to use some of my like, detailing stuff to black this out properly. But I'm not going to hoover it, I don't really think there's any point. But I know some detailers would, but it, yeah, I, I'm not going to bother. But I am thinking I might just paint these... Uh, I might paint these now just while I'm here, but only the bits you can see just because I'm not going to take the whole wheel off. I will do it though when I change the brakes. So I've just used some of this like ultimate black restore just to see what would happen inside the arches. Now I will let this obviously dry, but what I've done is just briefly gone over it. Uh, and yeah, so far it's looking so much cleaner than it did. I'll probably leave this about another 10 or 20 minutes. It is touch dry, um, it, is, it is like touch dry see but I, I'm still gonna leave it a little bit longer just to be safe. If you are currently enjoying this video, make sure you do leave a like rating. Also subscribe to see all the other stuff we're gonna get onto to on this car, but hopefully it should be quite good. However, as of yet, I've still not fixed my car. Um, all, everything is ready, but I'm doing it on Sunday. <laughs> I've had some like bi like some big issues with like the spray uh, spray shop and stuff like that. So now I've got all the parts and all the parts that I need sprayed sprayed. So everything is ready to go on the car. I'm doing it on Sunday because someone's going to help me um, because you know it's more than a one man job really, especially because the bumper is so big. But yeah, that is something to look forward to. I don't know if this video is going to be coming out before or after, but yeah, so far as of today, it's still not done. A month later after the hit of, of the crash, so this one is still drying. However, my good mate Ollie has actually dropped around some 
some more paint. Now this is high temperature, or very high temperature paint, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my exhaust tip black, because at the minute it's like chrome mod, but it's a little bit black, because obviously, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it really thoroughly, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray that black as well, potentially, in this video. We might do it a little bit later on, I'm not too sure. There we go, that is the exhaust tip. I've done it in matte black purely because that's what my mate had and also it just, it doesn't, I don't think if I had gloss it just would match the new gloss black bumper. And yeah, I've actually forgot to mention that, see the car has been to the spray shop and I thought whilst they're there, they can actually go ahead and spray this rear diffuser. So at the minute, as you can see, that, out the factory is normally grey so I got them to do it in gloss black. It's a little bit dirty at the minute but uh, yeah, when it's clean that's going to look awesome. Guys, there we go. That is just a little job. As you can see, the corrosion up there it happens quite a lot on BMW badges, but but now I've put a brand new one on, so there's no corrosion at all. It's just one of those little jobs that I wanted to get done. Nothing major, but makes a little difference. So guys, it's now the next day, and as you could just see in the previous clips, I have just gone and got myself some new tyres. Now, these are the tyres, so I'm probably I'm sure a lot of you will know what they are, but they're Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. Now, I completely know, like, I know this, like, I know these are way too overkill, like, literally way too overkill, but there's some good reasons why I got them. Now, one of the main reasons was obviously because of safety. These are really, really good tires, and the, the tires are the only things that stick you to the floor, and say if I do start to like push on a little bit, and obviously I haven't got loads of power, but I st you still can get to set, like some decent speeds. Now, with these, it just allows me to make sure I don't I don't have the car being tail happy or it doesn't slip or anything like that, because even even stock power, the rear end can e the can come out on some roundabout, it's in like second gear when it's a little bit wet. So yeah, this will just help prevent that. And also, before I used to have run flats. Now, everyone hates run flats. Pretty much everyone in the world hates run flats. So these are just normal Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. So they're completely normal tyres. And I can tell you what, they are so much more comfortable. Like, so much more comfortable. A lot more grippy as well, and a lot more quiet. I was going 70 along the dual carriageway the other day, on the way home, and I couldn't hear anything. It was really weird because of how quiet it really was. But the actual wall seemed a lot bigger as well. Like, the actual tyre seemed a lot more bulkier, and it fills the arches a lot better. Um, so I know I know there's still a big gap in there, but it's a lot less than it was. Now, there was another reason why I had to get new tyres. Now, obviously, the front one over there, the front one over there actually had a nail in the tyre. So that one definitely had to be replaced. The other three were okay, the actual tyres, but this one here... Well, not this one here, but the one that used to be here had like a big dent. So say from here, it would just drop and it would go along like that. It was like a flat spot. And I messaged, I messaged a few companies and see like to see if it was repairable. And I found out that it's beyond repair. So what I did was I bought a brand new wheel. So this is a completely brand new wheel. So obviously they put the new tire on that. I have still got the spare wheel just in case. Yeah guys, I'm super happy with how nice they look. They literally look so nice. Now today what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, one of my jobs today is I've got to go get them tracked, but obviously I won't put that on camera, but yeah, I'm gonna go get the car tracked uh, and then we'll be all good to go. Now before we do end this video, there, it, it isn't all good news. There's been a few issues which I'm gonna kind of sort out off camera because there's no point doing it on camera, but 
but for some reason this front one mostly anyway this seems to get stuck now it's, it's not going to do it now is it but oh there you go it's it's, it's not going to do it now because it's on camera obviously but what happens is it gets stuck as you can probably see it's stuck there and when you yeah it's not going to do it but basically when the guys yesterday were moving it into the uh like the workshop to get the tires done i saw that the front one wasn't spinning so what i'm gonna have to do is it looks like it may be too tight in the socket the rest of them are absolutely fine so what i'm gonna have to do is probably sand down in around there just so it's more free um or i might just get rid of them completely because the rear one is playing up as well i don't know yet but you'll either see in the next video that i've still got them or i haven't got them and then finally the other issue is well these this one is absolutely fine this one is absolutely fine and this hub is absolutely fine however this one here i don't know if you can see that yeah you there you can yeah so basically what happened was i started to do it i had to leave the house i really did i had to leave um and there was no other car, there was, my family would, wasn't home, so I couldn't borrow their cars and get temporary insurance. It was a nightmare, so I had to leave the house. I drove so slowly just to see if I can make sure the brakes are cool. And I left it three hours to drive, but you're meant to leave it a lot longer than that. Um, so then basically the paint started like dripping and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wheel off, off camera, sand it back, and then do it again, and then we'll be all good to go. But I'll do that off camera, because yeah, you don't, you've obviously seen how to do the rest, but uh, yeah. Ooh, and he fell over. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like rain. Also subscribe down below and comment what you think of this kind of mods episode. I wouldn't say it's the most exciting mods episode, but it was the one that I wanted to get done because the hubs look so much better painted, like so much better painted. It doesn't draw your eyes behind the wheel now, and that's exactly what I wanted. But yeah, the next video coming out will be me fixing my car. It's already been done. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of filming the videos all in a weird order. But yeah, the actual car is done now, but you wait until you see that video. That'll be coming next week. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys very, very soon.